So this is our place. Uh, we are in Arapica, Florida. We're right on the canals, and these canals connect to the ocean. It's all like brackish water. Um, we've seen out here all sorts of things. It's been crazy, but let me show you the place first. So place is interesting, okay? I'll start off with that. Over here, we have our entertainment center. We have a nice plasma. It's got a few vertical lines that are stuck. Uh, we've got ceiling fans everywhere. I think there's like four ceiling, five ceiling fans in this place. There's air conditioning, thankfully. Uh, we've got, everything's kind of thrift store special. I'll be quite honest. It's fine, but it's thrift store special. We've got uh, some board games. Every single one is missing pieces, so you're not going to win any. Or maybe win them all. I don't know. Um, we have amazing decor. Pretty incredible. Sweet couches. We got a Keurig. Doesn't work. We've got every kind of appliance uh, you could ever imagine. Most don't work. <laughs> They're all missing a piece. It's crazy. Um, like the blender doesn't have the top. The, you know, just everything is like that, which is kind of funny. Uh, it's been a challenge to say the least. Uh, we've got a four bay toaster though. So we're living luxury life. <laughs> light switches randomly. Let me show you the sweet lighting system. If you look straight up here, when I hit the switch, you'll see how much light <laughs> these put out. All the ceiling fans do have about an inch of dust on the top, so you know, you get some of the local flora and fauna every time you turn them on. <laughs> Sweet table, um, bar height, three stools, interesting. Like if you were a family here or something, I don't know, I guess one person just stands. Uh, we got a full-size fridge, it's wonderful. The freezer smells like fish. So, if you don't catch any fish, you can put some chicken in there and pretend like it was fish you caught. Uh, we got a window air, air conditioner unit. We got a giant fishing pole that's like way too big for where we are. You would need to be like deep sea fishing to use this thing, but it's here. Got a net so you can catch all your hopes and dreams that you had before you came here. <laughs> Reel them back in. Uh, bedroom number one. So this one's behind a pocket door. I like it when the label, like this door was $30.97. Uh, it's still on the door, always good. You know, details, details. Uh, this room comes with many amenities. Come on in, I'll show you. First off is a trundle bed. I don't know which mattress is worse, the one here or the one there, but they're both pretty bad. But this is more for a kid anyway, so be all right. Let me just uh, go ahead and open this. Oh, well. <laughs> Good times. Good news, though. It's still here. <laughs> it's just not on it. You know. We have a really interesting closet situation over here. You have a curtain. Uh, I tied this up so it was easier to, to get in and out. But you got a sweet curtain that's over this 2x4. Um... Lap of luxury. Also a spare bedroom. <laughs> also a spare room if you're triangular shaped. Because this is a triangular shaped closet. Not sure what you do with this. There are some things here, but they're all filled with a bunch of blankets. Mind you, we are in Florida. I don't know how many wool blankets you need. Maybe it does get cold here, but not while we've been here. Uh, it also comes with sweet things like this. I found this the other day. Love this. A dead frog. Viewer discretion advised. <laughs> so, yeah, this place has been a little rough. Now, like I said, we are like, we're almost in like the jungle. So you're going to expect there to be some bugs and stuff. I've killed about seven or eight roaches while we've been here. Kind of gnarly. Uh, I've seen giant spiders, all sorts of things, you know, just how it goes. We got a nice mirror though. So, you know, check yourself before you wreck yourself. Um, come on out. Okay, bathroom number one. Come on in. Let me just flip the light here. Oh, there's no, there's no flip. Oh, it's right here. No big deal, pull light. But the best part is, this would have hit this mirror. So what they did was they just routed it through the light fixture and now it just dangles in front, like a little charm to charm you. I feel charmed. This is sweet, the towel rack, if you wanna just throw a towel over it. Oh, okay. Oh, well, we, I mean, this is nice. So you got a cool beach theme. Okay, well, let's just pull. Oh, you can't make that corner. Oh, can I do it? You can't make that corner. This is the best part. This is where it connects, but like, that's not an L brat. We'll just use a piece of PVC. 
If you were confused on which way to turn the hot water or not, Blue Painter's Tape will guide your way. <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful. Uh, also, this is crazy. It's tight in here, but come on in. Like, if you're a man and you like... <laughs> so it's like... <laughs> it's like Questionable. I've definitely racked my head on that late at night. Luxury art. Rembrandt. We've got mini seating options. Futons galore. This place sleeps seven, let's remember. Supposed to, yeah, they said that they advertised that this place sleeps seven people. Now, if you have seven people, you have to do uh, three person shifts at the dining table to get through dinner. So I don't know how that works. I guess it's like three, three, and then just one lonely sucker. Um, over here, we have another entertainment center, complete with chargers and plugs galore. This is tied to this, so it doesn't drape down. I'm not sure why, just, you know, efficiency. Like I said, ceiling fans, Ooh, this one has a, a miniature ceiling fan <laughs> on the ceiling fan. I didn't even notice that. Luxury. So check it out. Inside this is the air conditioning vent. Now you'll see it's a, it's a big rectangular shape this way, but that's probably an expensive filter. So instead, we've got this narrow filter that's fit in there right there. See how that's, it's one filter here, and then this area, not so filtered. <laughs> so 75% air filtration, pretty good, pretty good. Let me just turn this ceiling fan. Not sure if you have to, it's like a BYO pole cord place. You know, got some sweet books. How I Got to Be Perfect, obviously a precursor to designing this place if you need a spare piece of molding we can just you know if you want if you're like an interior decorator you can just decorate the interior this dresser has been nice we know put a lot of junk in it looks like that one still has some let me open this closet right we don't need a door full of stuff we got random beach towels we've got random Nail polish kits. Note to self, if you're gonna run an Airbnb, maybe like get rid of this kind of stuff. I don't know, maybe not. There's a TV stand mount. It's kind of like just odds and ends. There used to be sliding doors here, but not so much. We got spare parts for all of the ceiling fans. So ceiling fans are good to go. Except for the pull tab. <laughs> Except for the pull tab. There's some really high end features in here. Uh, this is my favorite part of this whole bathroom. I'm gonna cut right through the table. They were like, at some point, let's redo this, make it look nice, the towel looks nice, all good, right? I mean, except for like, you know, features such as, <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on here so much. No big deal though, right? No big deal. We've got nice tile. Then we come up here and we're like, well, we already have this rack, but it won't fit if we put tiles. So we'll just go around this with the new tile to fit the old curtain rod. Seems like an interesting move. But, to be quite honest, we didn't get this place because of the house itself. We got this place because of the backyard. Let's go check out the backyard. All right, so we've got a nice seating area. It's not bad. We got lots of seats kind of everywhere. It's a little interesting. But, the best part about this place is this. We're on that canal. Uh, they've provided us with kayaks, or a kayak, a canoe that'll fit two people, or maybe even three, like a kid and a stand-up paddleboard, which has been awesome. That's why we stayed here. Right now it's the coronavirus. Uh, so we were looking for a place to, in the middle of our trip while this happened that we could be quarantined, but also have a good time, you know, quarantine life. So being able to get out on the water every day has been amazing. Out here we've seen manatees, we've seen otters, I've seen uh, an alligator even, Gary the Gator, so we call him, pretty cool guy. Um, we got a fire pit. We never had a fire because it's been so hot. Like. I don't know, it just wasn't the right time of year, I guess, but there's a cool fire pit so you can hang out. Uh, there's a crab pot, so we threw that in. We caught some crabs. They caught me. <laughs> He's drunk. Ah! <laughs> One more thing to show you is the laundry room. This thing is terrifying. It's like the uh, furnace room from Home Alone. Come check it out. Yeah. So what we got here is state-of-the-art equipment. I don't know why it makes this noise. Sometimes it starts shaking and starts squeaking like crazy. The dogs can hear it inside the house. Um, yeah, it's a little terrifying, but it did dry our clothes. 
It did wash our clothes. But it's a little interesting. I just found the mysterious uh, lost closet doors. So here they are. And I think this is the door to the other cabinet. So, you know, it's a it's kind of a fixer-upper Airbnb. So that's our Airbnb here in Arapica. Um, I gave it a lot of kind of criticism, but to be honest, it has been really great for us. It's been super peaceful. Uh, we really enjoyed it. We really enjoyed being here on the water and being able to just get away from kind of the crazy urban environment during this insane virus. Uh, I hope you guys have all been safe during this as well and been able to find ways to get outside. It's been beautiful out here on the canal. We never thought we would see gators um, in our own backyard. We've seen manatees multiple times. It's been really interesting uh, to say the least and Florida is a wild place if you've never been here. Um, it's getting hot already, pretty humid, lots of thunderstorms randomly and then they clear up. So it's an interesting place. Wow, Florida.